In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to create automotive uh, trim cover patterns for a car seat using a white light scan as uh, our background geometry. Uh, I'm using Exact Flat and SolidWorks 2013, and we are going to enable the Scan to 3D add-in here uh, in order that we can clean up a large mesh file. So I have two different STL import options uh, in SolidWorks. There's the standard STL import, and then there's the mesh file STL import. If I choose the mesh file STL import, uh, it gives me additional options to simplify the mesh, uh, orient it, uh, fill holes, uh, things like that. One of the first things we do uh, is go into our mesh, and uh, we're going to use the mesh prep wizard. So we select the mesh from the feature tree, and it automatically selects the, uh, the mesh file that we brought in. Uh, what we're going to do now is orient the, the mesh relative to the standard uh, planes in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, so we'll rotate um, and translate the mesh until it's uh, uh, aligned with our standard planes. In order to further reduce the size of the uh, mesh, uh, we're going to delete the, uh, the seat cushion portion of the mesh here. Here we can further reduce the size of the mesh by entering the number of vertices allowed for the remaining mesh. Here is our simplified mesh uh, that we're going to use as background to draw our pieces on. Here we are going to insert a 3D sketch feature and we'll use uh, 3D splines to sketch the seam locations on the mesh. Here we'll draw a spline with as few points as possible. Uh, this will make for easy editing uh, later on uh, if we need to move the seam line. Here we have our wireframe sketch and we're going to go into surfacing now. Uh, we're using a loft command here, and we use the loft command if there's a, a tubular shape or if the uh, surface has uh, three primary edges. And the next command we're going to use is the boundary surface command, and the boundary surface command um, is used if we have four, roughly four sides to the shape, um, and we are going to select first curves in the uh, first direction, shown in light blue, and then curves in the second direction, shown in purple. Here are the finished surfaces. Uh, we have four of them, and now we're going to use the piece creator to identify them as surfaces that need to be flattened. Now we're going to convert to exact flat, and what this will do is create a mesh and an initial flat pattern for the pieces. Now here I'm assigning material properties to the pieces, and we'll go into the flattener to see how they flatten. Uh, the flattener can be expanded to a new window, uh, and we're going to remesh this part, uh, and what the remeshing will do is improve the uh, boundary curve quality, and also allow it to optimize quickly. After optimization is completed, we rebuild the pattern pieces update and are now ready for pattern features such as seam allowances and notches.